Hello there, my name is Bradley Fowler. Uh, I am from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm currently attending University of Louisville and I am a Height Scholarship recipient. I am receiving my PFA from University of Louisville and I'll be going up for my exhibition in about a month from now. In my work, I look to put the viewer into an ultra state of mind by also including sound in my work. And, with, and I use binaural beats for this. And what those are is that if I were to use 150 hertz sound and have it go into my left ear and have a 151.5 hertz sound go into my right ear, uh, that those were creates a 1.5 hertz uh, illusory sound. And that helps activate brain waves in the mind. And a 1.5 would be a delta wave. And that is commonly associated with deep sleep. And so when the viewer is looking at my uh, work, I want them to be in a very relaxed state. And so it changes their perception of what they are looking at. In my light paintings, I look to combine light and paint together. Traditionally, uh, throughout art history, paint has been used on two-dimensional surfaces to recreate three-dimensional images. But in my work, I look to kind of contrast between the two. I use the light to make it look like it can be touched or it's something tangible, like, uh, so that the viewer thinks of it as a flat object where the paint is still layered on thick and it's becomes very textured so that it becomes almost like a three-dimensional uh, object itself. But when viewing my work, you see uh, the paint and it's on a flat surface and it looks like you can touch it, but it's still flat. Like it looks like you can touch it like it's a sculpture. But when viewing the lights in my work, it looks like it's a flat paint that you can also touch. But if you were to reach through, you would go right in, in through the space and it, you realize that it's not a wall, it's not a flat board. You can actually go through and interact with the space itself. For my light post piece, I, I really like the idea of a light post just on the center of the room. It, to me, that's just very, it's this very surreal environment that I could create and with adding haze into it, and while the viewer is listening to binaural beats as they walk around it for one, five, 10, 15 minutes, however long they want to be. It's this very immersive experience that I want to create for the viewer. When going into college, I didn't really, I knew I wanted to be an artist, but I did not know what type of artist I wanted to be. And when I got here at Lowell Fell, um, my professors really helped me and they helped me to discover what type of artist I want to be.